Yeah, it's a pretty crazy year, uh, last year. It felt like two years, you know, so many things happened. Pretty surreal. I exceeded my expectations pretty wildly, so, um, uh, you know, I was just aiming to finish maybe top 50, but even then I thought that was a big goal. So to finish uh, 21 and to have a peak at 17 was, uh, was uh, yeah, beyond, beyond my dreams. So um, it was amazing. And it is the young Canadian. What a win. I didn't win many matches uh, in Australia or either, you know, in the first tournament in, in Buenos Aires and South America. And then I come to Rio with no expectations and then end up in a final. Uh, it was amazing. Uh, it was just, uh, that was really an amazing moment for myself, my family and my team. The dream run in Rio continues. This guy is the real deal. And then uh, to back it up, you know, on the hard courts in the Indian world in Miami, semifinals uh, was really a dream come true. Magic. And Felix Auger is in his money. I remember going through the semis and just feeling uh, feeling like a kid again who whose dream was coming true and um, it was it was great. And you know, later during the year, uh, the two finals back to back uh, was also, I was impressed uh, of myself. I'd say obviously these are three big moments, but um, I would also add uh, that you know, with the tough moments at the end of the season where with the injury or even, you know, the first round exit in, in the U.S. Open, I think these are good lessons. And I'm also happy that those happened uh, last year because I was able to face great moments, but also tougher ones. So I think now I'm really prepared to face, uh, to face the tour. I know, I think uh, I've put pressure on myself uh, this year to, to back it up, but uh, it's all right because, you know, that's where I want to be. It's uh, to be in finals again, to, you know, to, to, to rise through the rankings again. So uh, I'm obviously very happy with the way I've, uh, I've played and the way I've, I've done things in the last year. So uh, I can, yeah, I can only be proud of myself. Now I'm really focusing on, you know, coming to every match uh, with uh, ready, fit, and uh, wanting to win. And I think the most important now is, you know, to get through those, uh, those draws, those tournaments, and to go as far as I can. And uh, uh, to do that, I will have obviously to, to play well, you know, go for it and go for my shots. But uh, I think, you know, the most important is to stay the course, uh, keep on, um, keep the same mentality, the same spirit, but um, obviously, you know, work well uh, on and off the court. It's gonna get me there. Yeah, it's been uh, amazing, you know. Honestly, wasn't sure what was going to happen next. I felt like I was playing some good tennis, practicing well. Obviously, I felt healthy, which is a key. But at the same time, you never know when uh, things are going to click in and you're going to have a result like I did last week. And, uh, you know, things, things just came together. Magic happened and I was in the finals. Again, it was, it was a tough one to lose in the finals, but uh, Gael earned it. He deserved it. And uh, I'm obviously happy with the way I started to see him. It's disappointing when you lose, but then when you reflect, you're like, okay, it's four finals, and at the same time, it's, uh, I'm just getting closer and closer. I'm feeling more comfortable playing finals. I think everyone has their own uh, way of getting their, their first title, and, and mine is going to come when, uh, when it uh, has to come and when I deserve it. For sure, now I trust myself uh, even more. I'm confident with what I can do. So we'll see uh, what happens in, in the days to come. But uh, uh, I think now I've just shown that I'm, um, I'm a real threat uh, on every surface, indoor or outdoor. So I will see that adds, uh, that adds up on the level that I play. Early in 2020, Felix was also making plans to give back to a charity close to his heart, sure to make a difference once the tour is back up and running. I feel very lucky to have a hugely satisfying career so far, but I think it's time to bring more meaning to it beyond tennis. This year, all my winning points count. Concretely, I will donate $5 to EduChange for every point I win. 
The other member of the team is BNP Paribas. They will match every point with a $15 donation. We are partnering with CARE for the protection and education of children in Togo. Together, we aim to help over 2,500 children. This year, more than ever, every point will matter. Thank you.